What is going on world? What's up everyone? It's Zero here. Today I'm bringing you guys a brand new StarCraft 2 video. This one features two players on the WCS Pro Circuit. Spawning here in the top right hand corner of Blackpink LE. Playing with the red Zerg pieces. He's currently down in this series and wants to get this series rolling back in his favor. His name is True. And his opponent spawning in the cross position, playing with the blue Protoss pieces. He's currently one of the best Protoss players on the planet and wants to keep this series rolling in his favor. His name is Showtime. So guys and girls, game number one in this best of five series that was played at the WCS in Leipzig is one of, uh, I, I gotta say, has been an intense matchup to say the least, at least in game number one. Now Showtime really showed us why he's one of the best Protoss players on the planet, simply because of, uh, of his great control as well as his great defense. And definitely, you know, show, showing everyone why he, you know, gets a lot of, uh, a lot of credit as far as his, uh, sometimes his aggressive play style that will uh, sometimes really does help him in the long run actually win a, a good amount of his games now true on the other hand this guy you know not nearly as well known as someone of the likes of showtime but he is starting to get more and more popular on the starcraft 2 pro scene and i gotta say i've been liking a lot of the builds i've seen by true game number one though i really felt that uh, he mismanaged some of his army but that said, I do still think that, you know, he can definitely get this series back relatively uh, easily. Um, if he just uh, manages his army a little bit better, I thought in game number one he had a couple of good chances at winning, at actually really winning the game if he would have hit at a couple of different bases at once, which is what he was planning on doing, but I'm not sure exactly the reasoning for delaying one of the other pushes in game number one it was a kind of an interesting thing with true in, in game number one but i'm wondering what he's going to plan on doing here in game number two as we see he's going for that hatch gas pool opener he's going to get that zergling speed upgrade here as well very early on and then we're also going to go ahead in the opposite side of the map showtime is going to get that warp gate research out of the cybernetics core and then it does look like he's going to move into the stalker production out of the gateway now he is also going to get a stargate uh, up and running as well so both these players i think in this game we're gonna i think we're gonna see a little bit of a maybe a different feel from true most likely He's probably going to go for something a little bit more, uh, I don't know, maybe a little bit more aggressive this game. Because I think that if I were him at least, it would. It feels that he definitely had an opportunity and he just let it slip out of his grasp in game number one. I'd love to see if he decided to go ahead and get aggressive here in this game as well. That would be very interesting to say the least. Looks like uh, the tech of choice coming out of the Stargate for Showtime is going to be the Oracle. We're also going to see that Metabolic Boost finishing up in less than 10 seconds. And we're also going to see an Evolution Chamber coming in for True. Now, True decides a lot of times to get that Evolution Chamber just simply to get those plus one, plus one upgrades. Uh, generally speaking for the ground-based units. But we'll have to see exactly what he decides to do as far as his unit composition is concerned. Going for that that Hydralisk and Lurker build in game number one, it felt like it could have worked pretty well, but those storms were so massive by Showtime. And now Showtime's going to move across the map with this Oracle. Is going to try and does get a few drone kills for his troubles and is able to fly away before losing that unit. I did notice though in game number one, both players did give each other a decent amount of respect though. They really showed a lot of respect for, for one another, knowing that either one of them could take an advantage very, very quickly in this matchup. The ZVP matchup, as in pretty much every matchup in StarCraft 2, has become like a massive chess game. It's essentially, you know, one of those game one of those games guys that uh, you know just gets more and more intense and strategic as the years go by 
we are going to see right now Showtime is going to get that Twilight Council robotics facility is going to be finishing up now. And then you're also going to see four gateways coming in and then Charge is going to be researched out of the Twilight Council. He's also going to get that Templar archives and I like that decision a lot. But we, you know, we're going to, both these players seem to be just playing a standard macro focus game and they're going to allow each other to do uh, exactly that it seems. And I, I, I like that uh, that we're going to see a macro game here as we uh, as we start to approach that five and a half minute mark. Both players are, are showing us that that, you know, they want to they, they want to play the you know, they want to go a little bit further in this game is maybe a little bit more of a late game. Possibly we are going to see uh, that. That hatchery morphing into a lair, so we're going to see those higher tier lair units coming in relatively soon. And it does look like those Zerglings are going to catch the part of this army off guard, but it does look like the Zerglings do, do decide to back off. And now we're seeing a timing push by Showtime as we pass that six minute mark. And he's looks like he's gonna start moving in here, and he's gonna start trying to deal a little bit some damage. Balings as well as Zerglings, and then you have some of these queens that are gonna be here as well. But the splits are absolutely beautiful by Showtime, absolutely massive um, by Showtime. But the surround is gonna come in, and it looks like True is going to clean this up nicely played. And I think actually True may very well have won that engagement and it does look like now he's going to start moving across the map with a bunch of these zerglings so the zerglings are going to go right after that third base location and they're going to try to catch more of these units off guard but the zerglings are deciding it looks to possibly move into that third base no it does not look like or i should say the natural expansion does not look like that's going to be the case and true now uh, of course, is getting that fourth base up and running. And uh, more blue units, which would be Showtime, are going to be moving across the map. So we're going to have Archons as well as Zealots. And that Warp Prism, I wonder if we're going to see another warp, uh, warp in here. Yes, we are going to see another Warp in. Plus one is going to be started out of, uh, of course, the Forge. And then we're going to see a lot of these Zerglings are getting a lot of kills on these probes, though. Beautiful play, but it does look like... There might be an eye for an eye here because it does look like Showtime is starting to move pretty far onto creep, and this always makes me a little bit nervous for the Protoss player. But he's going to surround around this third base location, going after a bunch of these drones. Beautiful play so far by Showtime. He is absolutely doing a lot of damage. So I really think that it's kind of an eye for an eye so far, but it looks like he's going to keep on pushing onward. And Showtime is really going to try to get a, a position of power. Beautiful pickup micro with those Archons. Absolutely brilliant play here as Showtime is showing us just how to play against the Zerg on creep. Heavily on creep. Moving in on that natural expansion. And all those Zer uh, Zealots are taking out those drones as well. Doing so much damage. GG is called. And Showtime absolutely just showed us a beautiful build order with the Protoss pieces taking out the Zerg opponent and going up two games to nothing. I hope you guys did enjoy this game between Showtime and True. And if you guys did, leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, stay positive, and as always, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.